Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Deep Intel. And in this video, we're going to run down all the things that will be leaving us, unfortunately, tomorrow. It's been a crazy week of farming, lots of good stuff to do, both PvP as well as PvE. Some of the stuff will still be available until reset tomorrow. Some of it is only available until reset tomorrow. So I'll give you a brief rundown on all the things that you can take advantage of in Destiny 2 in the lead up to tomorrow's reset. All the best farms and cheeses, and of course, an exploit or two. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Also remember, any of those things enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and I do one every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. We'll also do a giveaway at 1,000 followers on Instagram. And at 100,000 subscribers, we will be giving an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 away once we reach that incredible milestone to which we just get closer and closer. Thank you all so much for being here, as always. So the first thing... Is Trials of Osiris. This was actually a fairly easy week to farm Trials, in my opinion, and I don't play Trials that often. I do have a very unique way of playing Trials that I think has really helped not only this week, but will help moving forward that I think I'm going to talk about maybe in a later video this week or maybe heading into next weekend. Or whenever Trials is back, because I can't remember if Iron Banner returns next week or not. But in any case, if you want to know a little bit more about what I've been doing to make best use of Trials of Osiris as a novice player, someone who's never really liked Trials, leave a comment down below for a Trials build guide. We'll see about it in the next video. But that's one of the things, and remember this week was handing out the immortal so if you haven't gotten your hands on the adept version if you are someone who plays trials a lot this week's adept focused weapon was the immortal submachine gun which is very good for pvp if you haven't noticed if you haven't played any crucible as of late you will get killed with this weapon at least four or five times in any playlist It's a good one even if you don't get the adept version it's good for pvp as i mentioned but it's also pretty good for pve so if you're just looking for a strand submachine gun though this one might be a more difficult one to come by it's actually very good the next thing which was another great farm this week as we did have double xp all week for the Nightfall playlist, as well as the Gamut playlist, as well as the Crucible playlist. So you couldn't really go wrong as far as which playlist to farm for a lot of XP. But if you were farming the Grandmaster Nightfall and you got on a 5 streak, that was probably the best, in my opinion, as you were able to get up to 1,000 XP per run once you get on that 5 streak. So, so long as you don't play any other activity... And this is still valid until tomorrow's reset. Once you achieve a 5 streak, and even if you're just doing the normal level heroic Nightfalls, you will be getting a ton of XP. But I believe at the Grandmaster difficulty, you will be getting 1,000 XP at a 5 streak per run this week because of double XP from all core activities. The other reason you probably want to farm out any Nightfall this week while you still have time and if you can do the grandmaster all the more power to you and definitely get in there versus going to the lower level ones is because it is the devil's lair and this is the easiest grandmaster to farm in the strike rotation it's the easiest nightfall period but definitely the easiest grandmaster we have strand surge we have arc surge overcharged linear fusion rifles plays very well into this strike i did cover this Strike earlier in the week on best way to just navigate it if you're a solo player 
on any difficulty or if you're playing the Grandmaster in a group. Barrier Champions, Overload Champions. Overload are more difficult than Unstoppable, but in this particular strike, it really doesn't matter that much. Fastest strike to do, lots of XP. You get the Buzzard Adept version if you can complete it at Grandmaster. Even if you're doing it at the lower level difficulties, you're going to be getting a ton of loot because it's also double loot week. So it's just everything colliding. Double XP, double loot, easiest strike. Farm it while you can. And check out that video if you need a little bit of an extra guide. The other thing that's going on this week, if you're a solo player and doing a Nightfall is just not your thing, and you want to get some easy XP, we have the In the Deep mission, and there is an exploit in this particular mission that allows you to essentially kill farm. This is for weapons XP as well as just ranking up your season or artifact. If you're still looking to do that, why not? Where once you get to the end of this mission, there is a lectern or totem that you'll have to scan. Once you scan that, it'll start the next phase of the mission, which is the last phase of the mission. Normally, you just run in this particular area and complete the mission. It wants you to run back to the entrance. It's kind of a getaway from the endless thrall that will be behind you. But you don't really need to. You can just stay in the area where you actually scan the lectern. I would suggest jumping off a near ledge to reset the encounter slightly. You'll then be able to scan the lectern again, and you will have infinite thrall, and it rewards XP. So you can actually set up a pretty efficient AFK XP farm in the, in the Deep Mission. I have talked about it many times before, but just always want to reiterate. And again, with this week being double XP and the Grandmaster Nightfall being the Devil's Lair, I would actually suggest doing that over this, but there are still solo players out there, maybe people who are doing other things, and they just want to farm out some extra weapons XP or just artifact XP. Today's Legendary Lost Sector is in the Throne World and it is awarding exotic chest armor, so... If you're looking for their Gerfalcons, this is a great day to farm it if you're on a Hunter. Probably the most sought after exotic for Void Hunter builds. Certainly still the one that I see most people trying to get a good roll on. So head over to the Throne World for the Legendary Lost Sector today. Zur is also in the tower hangar with some reasonably good stuff. If you didn't get a chance to pick it up, we have the Cold Heart, we have the Wormhouse Crown, we have the Stronghold, and we have the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Fairly decent rolls on all of them, except maybe not the best distribution, but pick them up if you don't have it. Fairly decent rolls on some legendary weapons though nothing really a major standout. Armor was bugged this week, unfortunately. This armor set is really just here for cosmetic. Not totally sure what happened with the armor rolls. If you didn't know, all of these are supposed to be at least a 58 heading into the season. That's the low end. You'll even see some go up as high as 67. Fortunately, occasionally we get these weird bugged armor sets, and they just have completely garbage rolls on them. So just pick them up for cosmetics. Not my favorite. Definitely get this. Vorpal Dead Man's Tail. Best roll you can find on this particular weapon. Vorpal is the best perk, in my opinion, on any weapon, and it's great on this one. It's a bug perk. I know they said they fixed it, but it's not really fixed. Ricochet rounds on this one and small bore. Definitely a 9 out of 10 roll for the Dead Man's Tail. Never know when Vorpal's going to come around again, so definitely pick it up if you do not have one. And definitely get one if you don't have one. We also have a Hawk Moon with Eye of the Storm. 
textured grip, Allied Magazine, Hammer Forge Rifling, not bad. And over at Banshee 44 for the final wrap up of today's video. We have our featured weapons. Definitely pick up this Nezerax Whisper. I know it's always here. This is, for some reason, the weapon that just doesn't leave. Maybe it's tied to the season, and that way it's always going to be a featured weapon. But this one has Vorpal Weapon on it again, and it's also a Deep Sight activation. So if you don't have one, get one just because of the Vorpal. Whenever you see a weapon with Vorpal, just grab it. Grab it. You never know when you're going to need it. Decent roll on this one. Pintada 57. I kind of like the time payload perk. This one has a range masterwork. And pick up the scout rifle because it has hatchlings. And it is a strand primary. You never know when you're going to need one. Same thing as Vorpal. Though we do have a... Another one with pretty much the exact same roll that's been available all week, so you've probably gotten it already. Nothing to stand out on the weekly weapons. Remember, these will refresh tomorrow, and then again the next day, these refresh twice per day. And that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. As I said before, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel. And if you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag Banshee44 or a hashtag Zer or a hashtag Weekly Reset in the comments section down below. I'll give you another entry into the next giveaway on this YouTube channel for this video. And remember, I do that on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. And once more, and as always, I'm Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time.